Okay, yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good to see you all again. Have you had a good night rest? Okay. okay. So ready. So that's after good night rest, it's always good to start with some meditation. So I have good news for you if you're going to do meditation right now. Okay, let's get into meditation. Today I thought we can do a little bit of a guided meditation on the idea of dying and to see if that works to help us kind of become more at ease, let go, to kind of improve the mindfulness. So if you want to take part in this, then follow along and we'll do a guided meditation on, the, uh, on death and see what happens. And take it from there once we get established on this. So please uh, sit comfortably as always. And uh, as I mentioned yesterday, follow a nice routine. Uh, every time you sit down, follow roughly the same process uh, to make sure that the mind and the body are ready for the meditation practice. Uh, and uh, start off by closing your eyes. Uh, and when you close your eyes, you shut out so much of the noise of the world. Uh, and it allows you to focus on the body, uh, to really feel the body properly. Uh, make sure you have no pains and aches uh, and also to make sure that you are nice and relaxed really comfortable uh, looking after yourself caring for yourself the idea of caring for yourself is such an important part of the buddhist path uh, and it's important that each one of us does that uh, regardless of what other people might think and say uh, look after yourself uh, and we start by doing that in the meditation practice uh, being at ease uh, and relaxing. And uh, just stay with the body at the beginning uh, to feel that you are really at ease. Uh, remember the body and the mind are very closely linked to each other. Uh, so if you can't relax the body, uh, it also means the mind is relaxing. Uh, the mind is letting go. Uh, so by focusing on the body, we get a broader relaxation throughout the whole personality.
and so much of uh, meditation practice is just this ability to be patiently aware and waiting in the present, uh, waiting for things to calm down by themselves and just very gently inclining the mind towards the peace, uh, enjoying the peace, uh, enjoying the freedom of burdens, uh, just being here with a good company of good friends, uh, just relaxing and just enjoying yourself. And uh, as the meditation proceeds, uh, it is important to keep the mindfulness there, to be aware of what is going on. Uh, and depending on how the meditation proceeds, uh, what you do next will depend on that. Uh. So if you do feel a bit dull or drowsy or whatever, uh, then you need to try to inspire yourself. Uh. Inspire yourself with a positive idea, a sense of gratitude, uh, a sense of delight in being in the presence of the Buddha, Dhamma, Sangha, a sense of uh, uplift for the good actions that you have done in your life. Uh. Alternatively, if you feel that the mind is still thinking too much, uh, too restless, uh, you need something to calm it down, uh, to bring the mind into the present uh, and no longer proliferate about the future and the past. Uh. And one way of doing that uh, is to do a very brief death recollection, uh, to allow the mind to let go of all of this extra stuff uh, that usually 
hinders us uh, in becoming peaceful. Uh, so in a few moments uh, I will do a gentle guidance in this area uh, and if you want to take part please follow along. Uh, if not uh, then just do whatever you feel is appropriate. Uh. When you have sufficient uh, clarity and mindfulness, uh, that is when the meditation starts, uh, regardless of what kind of meditation that you wish to do. Uh. The same is true also for the death recollection. Uh. So start off by imagining yourself on your deathbed. Uh. You come to the last few hours of your life. Uh. There's only a few hours left uh, and then that will be the end of this existence. Uh. From now until the point of time when you die, uh, you will not be meeting anyone. Uh. You're by yourself uh, moving on into the future. Uh. You're lying on the very simple bed uh, in a very simple room. Uh. It's a room where all the walls are white. Uh. There are no decorations anywhere. Uh. There is no window in this room. Uh. The door is closed uh, and there's no one around to be heard or anything like that. Uh. You're wearing something white like a hospital garment perhaps uh, and you're lying on this thin mattress uh, on your back. Uh. There's nothing to see, nothing of interest in this room whatsoever. Uh. And all you're doing is waiting for, the own, for your moment uh, of passing away. Uh lying on this bed. Uh, what does it feel like? Uh? And just take a note of that feeling, uh, what it feels like to be in the presence of death. Uh. Remember, one day this will happen. Uh. So now is the time to get ready for this. Uh. If you can be ready now, you will be ready when it actually happens. So make it real. Uh. Make it as if you're actually there. Uh. So you are lying on this bed. Uh, waiting, getting closer and closer to the time of your final passing away uh, and you start to realize that all the things in this world uh, now is the time to let go of these things. Uh, these things cannot go with you after you pass away. Uh, and some of the most important things in our life are all the possessions we have. Uh, even the things that are most dear to you in this life, uh, it is all going to have to be left behind. Uh, to stay with that feeling for a while. Huh?
and uh, you are still lying on the same bed. Uh, the minutes are ticking by. Uh, you know time is going to be coming to an end in this world very soon. Uh, you have already said goodbye to all your friends and relatives in this world, uh, even all your Kalyanamitas. Uh, but now is the time to let go of all the people in your life once and for all. Uh, they cannot go with you beyond this point. Uh, now you have to travel on on your own. Uh, let go of all those people, uh, knowing that this is the time to say your final goodbye, sir. and uh, still lying on the same bed on your back uh, and you can start to maybe to feel the lightness uh, the lightness that comes from letting go of this world uh, moving into the future without all this baggage uh. but then you realize as time is getting shorter and shorter uh, that there's even more that you have to let go of uh, and a large part of what you have to let go of uh, is the sense of who you are uh, who you are is often tied up with this world. Uh, your gender, uh, your educational background, uh, your status in this life, uh, who you are in the family, the mother, the father, the daughter, the parent, uh, whatever it is. Uh, uh, so many things in this world, uh, so many things with your identity is tied up with this world. Uh, all of that has to go when you die. Uh, it is as if your identity is disappearing slightly here uh, and all you are left with uh, are the good qualities uh, within her. Can you feel that uh, delightful sense of emptiness uh, that comes from giving up so much of your personality? Uh, so much of our personality is so fragile. Uh, it is tied up with the external things around us. Uh, the only thing that is not fragile uh, are the good qualities we build up within. Uh, this is the only thing you can take with you into the future. Uh, and you start to see understand, maybe fully, for the first time in your life, the importance of these good qualities. Uh, 
is extraordinarily powerful uh, and is often only on our deathbed we can see these things. Uh. So rejoice in that emptiness that arises, uh, the bringing forward of the good qualities. Uh. And as you do that, uh, as you feel that emptiness, uh, you can see that the final moments of your life uh, are getting even closer. Uh. And the very last thing that you have to let go of on this process uh, is the very body that you have carried for these years on this planet. Uh. So release your interest even in this body uh, and you're left with this disembodied mind uh, of good qualities uh, and really nothing much more. Uh. And uh, as you are let going, even of your body, uh, and the time of your passing away is getting so close now. Uh, it is so close that you become unsure whether you are dead or alive, uh, because all you are left with is the mind anyway. Uh, and remember, the mind carries on. Uh, all you have with you now are the good qualities of your heart, uh, moving on into the future. Uh, and you start to wonder, why ever you were so afraid of this idea of dying. Uh, what a delightful process it is to empty everything out, uh, feeling the emptiness inside, uh, the lightness of the mind moving on into the future. Uh, and as you do that, uh, moving on in this way, uh, you start to feel this enormous sense of gratitude, uh, the gratitude to all the people in your life, uh, all the Kalyanamittas, uh, to the Buddha, to all the people who have taught you and helped you on the Buddhist path, uh, because you understand this beautiful moment in time uh, is possible only because of that. Uh. And uh, as you move on with a sense of gratitude in your heart, uh, you realize that dying is a beautiful experience for good people. Uh, if you have the good qualities within, uh, it is easeful and delightful to pass away from this world. Uh, 
And as you see this, you start to have this enormous amount of compassion for the whole world, uh, understanding the suffering of people in this world, uh, because now you have like a bird's eye view. Uh, you are removed from all these people. You have moved on to something else, uh, and you have much greater perspective on what life really is like. Uh, you have a sense of compassion for the whole world, uh, the whole planet, uh, all the people, all the animals, all the invisible beings. Uh, may every one of you, may you be well, may you be happy. Uh, And uh, as you move on in this way, uh, there comes a point when you realize that your breath is still there. Uh, and when the breath is ready, uh, when the breath comes to you, uh, when the breath appears in your mind, uh, then just carry on doing the breath meditation. Uh.
Okay, so uh, coming close to the end, uh, not quite there yet. Uh, and just before we come to the end, just spend a couple of moments uh, reviewing your meditation. Huh? How do you feel now? Uh, and if you do feel a sense of ease and relaxation, uh, a sense of improved mindfulness uh, or whatever, uh, ask yourself why that is the case. Uh. Okay, everyone, so that's the meditation for now. Huh?